man, if you can make room for some of the top women up here, that would be appreciated as well. Also, just a quick note, there are hikers on the backpack trail today, so just be courteous to them. We have just over 30 seconds. Go ahead and walk up here to the mat, folks. All right, 25 seconds. When we get to 10, help me out with the 10 second countdown. Please make sure you go through the starting mats. Don't go on the other side of the gate, please. Go through the gates. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good luck at Iron Furnace, everybody. Enjoy your day. Appreciate the trails. We'll see you back up here in a little while. All right, my trail sweeping duties begin. Woo! All right, here we go. All right, finally getting off the road from up here at the lodge area where all the cabins are. Uh, half mile in. And it is going to be a long, slow day. I have two sets of walkers in front of me, so it's just going to be walking this half marathon, but that's fine. I didn't stretch, I didn't warm up, and I've been feeling sick the last couple days, so this slow walking pace will be perfect for me today. My job as a race sweeper today will be to pick up these flags as I go, even though it's going to be very slow going for me today. I'm just glad to be outside in nature, walking through the woods, being involved in the ultra running community. I always love that. It's my first time volunteering, so looking forward to seeing how this goes today. I think the course record is 135 maybe, 144, somewhere in there. So yeah, it's gonna be a fast run. And even though we were pounded by rains last week, the trail is fairly solid, especially up here on top of the ridges. Horse sweeper, and you're gonna be on my YouTube video. <laughs> you having a good time out here? Oh, yeah. How's the lead runners look? Was it a nice big pack? Oh, I think it well, no, they're pretty spread out for the half. Um, I think it was Josh Park, he was um, like two minutes ahead of anybody. Is else. that right? Just, wow, like I mean, he's on. I would be surprised if he doesn't set the course record today. Wow, well, I'm excited to see how he does. Yeah, oh, I didn't realize that they all started at the same time. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Go okay. Yeah. Well, I can finally pick up the pace a little bit. All right. Stepping foot onto the Zaleski backpack trail. I think it's been about two years since I've been here. I was here with Michael Stutzman, a friend of mine from Berlin, Ohio, who also attempted a FKT on the Shelterway Trace before I did my unsupported attempt, I believe. Anyway, we did an overnight here, camped up by the camping area number three. Yeah, that was a good run. We did a little bit of backpacking and trail running. And that's where I first met Michael Owen. He was out here, so it was exactly two years ago, tomorrow. He was out here walking the uh, backpack trail, picking up pin flakes, and I was asking him what he was doing. And he told me all about the Iron Furnace race that had happened the day prior. So. Yeah, two years to the day. Here I am, back on the Zaleski State Forest backpack loop. Not racing, not backpacking, but being a trail sweeper. So back there where I crossed the road, I was talking to the photographer and looked down and realized that there was a split off for the 4.5 mile race that actually did start at the exact same time as the half marathon. I don't know why I was thinking they were starting at two separate times. So. The slow people that I was waiting on all went left at the turnoff to stay on the 4.5 mile loop. So now I can run a little bit. The photographer told me that uh, I'm about five minutes behind the back of the pack of the half marathon runners. So I'm gonna have to pick up the slack here a little bit. All right, I made it to the 
5k point. We have a water drop here and I can drop off some weight. Thank you. Back on the move. Currently about 3.2 miles in and here at backpack site one. And when I stopped to drop my flags off back there a moment ago, I asked him how far ahead Paul was. Paul is supposedly the guy at the back of the pack. At least that's what his buddy told me at the 1.8 mile mark where there was a turnoff. They said he came through 15 or 20 minutes ahead of me. So I am way behind because I walked by a quarter mile of these after talking to Mike at the 1.8 mile mark. Lost my train of thought and I just completely forgot to start picking them up. So I had to backtrack a quarter mile, which put me a half mile behind. So now I have a challenge today. I am on a mission to catch up with Paul. He's at least a mile ahead of me, but I think I'll be able to, I'll be able to catch him if I can keep a steady pace for the next 10 miles. That is my goal. We'll see what happens. But that ain't gonna happen if I walk. So definitely gonna try to jog the downhills and the flats as much as possible. But this is obviously gonna slow me down, having to stop and pick up flags every couple hundred yards. It is a gorgeous day to be outside. It was full sun earlier. Now the clouds are starting to move in. Still uh, partly sunny, partly cloudy. Very comfortable temperatures. And I'm just glad the trail is not a slop fest. There's definitely some uh, squishy, soft, gooey sections. But for the most part, it's in pretty good shape considering what we've been through here in the last two weeks with all the rainfall. Currently an hour and 40 minutes into this race. So I'm guessing the finishers, top finishers are either making their way up the road to the finish line or have already finished. Because I know there was a fella going for the course record today, which I believe is 139. So there might already be a runner done. It's hard to believe. And I'm only 4.8 miles in. I'm actually only 4.3 miles in because of my mistake. So pretty slow going for me, but uh, I'm gonna keep pushing forward. Having a good time out here. Currently at my favorite area in all of Zaleski. These little overlooks, little cliffs. A place that kind of reminds me of Red River Gorge a little bit. Yeah. No green out there. Eh, little touches of green here and there. But it's been pretty cold, but spring is right around the corner. It's April 6th today, so it won't be long before everything's green. These signs are a pain about to carry and run with, but the pin flags aren't too bad. So that's the amount of flags from two miles. And I still got three more to the aid stop before I can dump them. So this is the burn area I heard about. Look at that, just last week. And they had to make a fire break here on the trail. So it's a little fluffy and sticky. But not too bad. I can smell it. Very pretty area. All right, I've made it to the aid station at 8.8 .8 it looks like. And boy, do I have a load. It's getting heavy. So I am very thankful that I can offload this and hopefully get some snacks before moving on here for the final five miles or so. There goes my ride. He gave me a lift for about a mile and a half down this uh, gravel road because he was leaving the aid station. He was the radio guy. He had a little antenna on his car so uh, he could communicate with the other aid stations and Michael, the race director via radio, some kind of radio. So, popped in with him. We picked up a couple dozen flags on his gravel road and 
We're just about to the end now. Get ready to hop back up on the trail for the final, oh, three and a half miles. Well, after getting that ride for a mile and a half on this gravel road, I might have a chance at catching Paul yet. The last, the guy in last place. Uh, he, he was still a half hour ahead of me when I got to the aid station. Since I still have three and a half miles left, I might be able to catch him. I was starving when I came into that aid station. I had breakfast at 5.30 at home in Bow Fountain and no other calories since. And it's already noon and I could feel myself going downhill fast. I was getting weak, had no energy on the hills. So I refueled a little bit with some oranges and cookies and ginger ale back there at the aid station. Now I'm really looking forward to getting to the finish because they're supposed to have potato bowls. But as late as I'm gonna be, I wouldn't be surprised if they're all gone. Hopefully there's some left because that sounds really good. Just picked up the signs and the paper punch from the turnaround. Now I'm making my way back to the road for the final, geez, probably less than two miles to the finish. All right, officially leaving the trail and on to the final couple hundred yards of road to the finish line. And boy, do I have a load. All right, folks, I've made it back to the start finish line. And it looks like about two thirds of the people are gone. All right, here we are, four and a half hours. Boom, I made it. I just said an SKT, slowest known time. Nice. After race treats, potato bowls. Um, peppers, onions, potato, salt, pepper, ketchup. We're out of, they're out of cheese and sour cream, but that's all right, still tastes good. All right, folks, I'm here with Michael Owen, race director for the Iron Furnace Half Marathon and founder of the SEOTR, mm -hmm. Southeastern yep. Ohio Trail, Runner, Trail Runners Association, or just Trail Runners? Just Trail Runners. Okay. Yeah. So the race was awesome today. The trail conditions were pretty good, and I heard that there was a new course record. There was, yeah. So on, tell me a little the, bit about that. On the men's and women's side, uh, <clears throat> the, the former course record for the men's race was set in 2015, so it's one of our oldest course records. It was 135.30. And uh, a, a guy named Josh Park won the race today and ran 130.30. So he was wow. about five minutes ahead of course record. And on the women's side, it was set probably five or six years ago, was 159.30. And the lady today, uh, Jenny Brewer, ran 148. Wow. So 11 minutes off the course record. So for, for being a little bit muddy this week, the course records showed that the trails were actually more dry than what people expected. Yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of rain. What last week or two weeks ago? It was pretty Tuesday, flooded. Tuesday, Tuesday was the flooding <clears throat> rain. Uh, Wednesday morning, the, the trails were wind. underwater mm -hmm. and the roads were underwater. Yeah. But enough dry days to, to zap it out. Yeah. yeah. And how many runners were in the race today? Yeah. So 200, 219 runners. Okay. Is that pretty typical for this distances. race? So yeah, half marathon had um, about a hundred and. 22 and then the, the four and a half mile distance had about 96. Okay. Like. Pretty so, good turnout. Yeah, good turnout. About mm -hmm. about normal. Mm -hmm. most years. Okay. Yep. All right. So you got a couple more races coming up. Yep. Um, tell us a little bit about those. Which ones we can expect to see next? Yeah, yeah. So our next race is the Thunder Bunny Trail Races. It's a 50K, 25K, and 11K. That's in May, uh, May 11th. It's in uh, uh, Stroud Run State Park mm -hmm. in Athens. And then in the fall, we do our big the Shawnee 50 miler, uh, 50 mile, 50K and a half marathon. That's in the Shawnee State Forest, mm -hmm. Portsmouth, Ohio. Uh, pretty big vert for that yeah. race, uh, yeah. but good trails, you know, good time of year for that. Um, and we also put on a small four miler uh, at the Paw Paw Festival um, in September in, in Athens area. Okay. So that's, that's the rest of our race schedule for the year. Um, yeah, those yeah. are pretty good races. Yeah. Yeah, I've done the 
the Shawnee yep. 50, and well, man, that was brutal. Uh, oh, which one's that? Uh, That's that last year's shirt. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, I like that. Year's, yeah, last year's. All right. Any chance I can get some past shirts? You probably Or do I have to run them? Oh, totally. I can, I, can, I can do that for you. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a long sleeve, too. Yeah. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. So. All right. Well, and looks thanks like for your a, help, Jason. Oh, yeah. Jason swept the course today. Yeah, I was the course sweeper so today. That, so that was a great experience. He followed the final runner, picked up the course cool. markings, and kept an eye on the final pack of the group to keep everyone yeah. safe. So that's it, what it takes, a lot of community effort. Yep. So. And it was my first time volunteering for a, oh, cool. a trail race, so nice. that was a good experience. Yeah. I'm glad I got to do it. I'm definitely Kinda looking forward to doing that the again. the other side of the, yeah. of the pack. Yeah, for sure. Cool. All righty. Well, it was a good day for a race, and appreciate you talking with me. Well, I appreciate it. Yep. Have a good one. Thanks for watching, guys.